What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about fall fishing baits. So let's get straight to the point. I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of my favorite fall fishing baits. Not because of what other people are saying, but because I have experience with these baits during the fall. So let's get into it. The first bait that I want to talk about is an inline spinner. An inline spinner is one of my favorite because you can catch anything on these things. No matter what the pros say, you can catch big bass. Check out this clip. Now that specific bass was caught on this small little Panther Martin gold with pink. It was, it's very, very small. It's maybe an inch long. So you can catch big fish, small baits, inline spinners for bass. I was throwing this on an ice fishing rod but I would normally throw this on a medium fast action rod. I feel with the faster action rods, you get a better hookup ratio with moving baits than with soft uh, plastics, which are slow moving baits. Also, these have really thin hooks, so it's easier to set the hook with a lighter action rod. So inline spinners are one of my favorite to throw during the fall. Early fall, I'm not sure if all of you are still in the early fall, but this can go towards mid fall. I like to throw I like to throw a spinner bait. My favorite color is black for a spinner bait, but we can also go white and chartreuse. These work really well as well. So spinner baits, I like a heavier, heavier rod. I will throw these on my short, uh, I think it's a six foot four medium fast action spinning rod, but I do prefer these on a medium heavy fast action, about seven foot rod. These do have beefier hooks than the inline spinners, so you want something heavier to get this hook penetrated through the fish's mouth. Bass love these. One of my most favorite lures to throw during the fall is a Rapala Rip and Wrap. I'm not sponsored by Rapala at all, unfortunately. They're expensive, but I do highly recommend getting as many different color Rip and Wraps as possible. These are small, they make a lot of noise and the bass love these during the fall. Along the same lines is the red-eyed shad. So I'd be throwing all of these on a medium fast action rod or a um, medium heavy fast action rod. Uh, heavy might be a little too much for a lipless crankbait, but it still works. They don't have, they don't come with beefy hooks, but they do have uh, thinner to medium thickness hooks. So uh, I throw these on my medium fast action six foot four it's a small rod i know but it works the favorite colors for me for the fall are red or natural color lipless crankbaits they come in a bunch of different uh red craws it's like red yellow and orange striking red-eyed shads come in a bunch bronze whatever you want to say it is i forget the color of this bait and then also you have like a green natural color with the livingston lures these are cool because they make sounds Let's see if I can do, make it make a sound. So that's that. Another bait that's really well, works really well, are square bill crankbaits. You can knock these off of wood or anything. They just deflect really well. And the bass love attacking the square bill crankbaits during the fall. I highly recommend throwing a square bill and a lipless crankbait for catching big fish. And like the, like the uh, lipless, I like throwing these on a medium fast action rod as well. Hope you guys learned something. There was a quick video. You guys are obviously searching this type of stuff because you want something quick to go. So I'm not going to draw this video any longer. So be sure to subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment any more questions below. I'm only doing this video because I've been getting tons and tons of comments asking me favorite fall bait. What are you throwing right now? So I'm doing this video for you guys. If you want any more videos like this, comment below what questions you need answered and I will post a video based on that. Got a bunch of cool co content coming really shortly. So definitely go check out the channel and see my previous videos. Be sure to subscribe. It means the world to see you guys supporting me and I appreciate all those who have been supporting. So as always guys, stay real and go catch some fish. And when you catch them, Give him a big smooch for me. Hashtag smooch and release.